Look carefully and find an opening, Joker. It's a shadow! Watch out, Joker. Yoink! Show me your true form. I can't tell if it's a good or a bad thing that pretty much all the enemies respawn when I left the area. I mean, on one hand, I can get more experience and money, so I guess that's always a good thing. What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5. Last time. We continue to explore Futaba's Pyramid as we learned a little bit more as to the nature of her psyche. Unfortunately, Futaba has been through quite a lot, and especially concerning, well, that mural that we saw upon opening the second doorway over here. However, we did manage to get past that and are now on our way to uh, get past our current Show me barrier. Okay. In this episode, we are and continuing to go through Futaba's pyramid as we learn uh, more about her, as well as to get past all the different traps that her palace has in store for us. Form. How hard is it to get a freaking liquid mercury? It shouldn't be that hard to get one of them. Anyway, Panther gets ambient aid. So she is more likely to succeed in casting a status ailment during rain, pollen, or flu. Uh, cool as that is, I really don't care. Ooh, next is Maragi on. Alright. Let's go. Okay, so there is that. The problem with fighting these freaking Anubises. They take a lot of energy out of you. You're not even guaranteed to get the item that you need. Hey, you Show get back here! Form. All right. I mean, I don't really Good expect work. to get all up. of the, well, liquid mercuries that I need in this palace. But I'd like to at least get... A couple of them. That way, I can work towards getting that eternal lockpick. I found a chest. Ooh. What do you want to do, Joker? And we can see that there are some traps here. So it's a good thing that we didn't go this way. We get a stamina sash. So let's go ahead and take a look. That gives us 20 HP. Cool. Not like that's. Super helpful. Let's see it. However, we have ourselves another slab. So we'll go ahead and steal that and then take a look. Hey! Well, let's touch it. Zero one one zero zero and B one zero zero one one. know what exactly it is that we need to go in order to well let me rephrase that we know exactly what to input in order to make our way Somewhere. onward uh ooh. and then it came over this way and yeah obvious trap is obvious I was about to say, it's like, any time game.
Alright, well, the code wasn't exactly that difficult. Uh, if we take a look at it... Uh, we check the stone slab. So, the red ones are the second and third one, and the blue ones are all the others. Okay, so that's at least... Well, nice to know. So, only the second and the third ones need to be on for these red ones. Okay, so we deactivate the first, we deactivate the fourth. And we deactivate the fifth. On the blue end, we deactivate the third. As well as the second. There we go. Very simple puzzle to overcome. And then we push the button. Push. I think we broke it. Come on, man. Ah, uh, why don't we try pushing it again? Okay, let me try it again. Ah. I think so. Don't tell me. Well, something happened. Go ahead and climb up this way. And we can see that we can't exactly head down now, can we? We won't have to deal with the boulder trap. I can feel it. And we can see that there is indeed a light shining out over that way. So until then, we just go over all these. Uh, that way is pretty much busted. Ow! Jump over here, and there we go. Perfect. Uh, not exactly the greatest way out, but hey. You gotta improvise sometimes. Yes! I have some. Where are you? You get back here! You! God! Come on! Really? Focus. Ugh! I totally had that. I See totally it. had that. It's somewhere. How did I not manage to initiate combat with it? Well, I mean, it's a good thing w that I made that item to begin with, but eh, I hate it when that happens. Also, uh, I guess we just continue going onward then. Even more of these types of things, but another corridor. Alright, sorry for the random cut right there. I w checked back to see, oh, maybe since I didn't actually get in the combat, the thing respawned. It doesn't. Once you fail, you fail. So, no chance of getting that again. This is...
Okay, so we can see this time, rather than straight up squares, they're in triangles. So, once again, we need to put this in the proper spot. However, it isn't just moving back and forth. We also have rotating ones. So some of these aren't exactly in the proper spots. So we have that to contend with as well. Uh, I believe we go from there. Ah, uh, that's not it. Try flipping... Sort of. We do that, we flip that, and there we go. sort of circumstances. It's one thing to see someone die right in front of you. Hell, that's traumatic enough in and of itself. To see someone that you love, especially a parent, that is... I don't even have words to describe such a thing. Well, it only strengthens our resolve. Wants us to steal her heart so that way she can move on. that sort of pain. Well, we progress onward, and we have another set of doors and another barrier. Hmm. take a look at our map, we are pretty close to the end. We are at the end of the corridor. Well, that tiny little room is not where the treasure is. Regardless, we have a safe room. Again. Yes. Looks like we can rest here. I honestly don't get why they did this for every single step. Like, seriously. All you needed was one safe room. All you needed was one safe room and like the lowest part of the corridor. You can very easily run to the other sides. Well, whatever. That's neither here nor there. I didn't well. design this game. Let's take a look at our progress. Hey. So we have one final section go? to get through. So let's not waste any more time. Ah. 
basically we've still got quite a bit of time left, so we might actually be able to finish our exploration this time. That is assuming we can actually reach the end of this section right here. Focus. Uh, ooh, treasure. I can feel it. Uh, nothing else. Dang. I'm still mad about that freaking treasure demon. That was 24,000 yen right there that just slipped by. Wow. to get distracted, except by treasure! Oh. And it's a locked one, too. So in this locked chest, we get a dog watch kimono, a black rock, well, for transmutation, and a turquoise. Dog watch kimono, do I have one of those on? It's the Elysian robe and the accountant cape. Dog watch kimono. No, I get the feeling I could have gotten this on someone. And I can give this to either one. Well, since Panther kind of needs it more, and since it's not much of an increase for Queen, we'll give that to her. And then we go ahead and jump on over here. Jump on past these and grab a treasure. I can feel it. If only a treasure team was on that one, then it wouldn't have any areas to escape to, now would it? Ooh. Get back here this instant, young man! Got one. Now I can start. Now I can stop complaining. For now. Because <laughs> that's only one of ten that we got. Over. And we still have plenty more that we need. But hey, it's progress in the right direction. I have something. Uh, well, there's more scaffolding, but not something. really much else over here. Just got a scratch sword, and we can continue onward. And we have lots of Focus. traps already activated as well. Well, I mean, I'll take just free treasure that's just lying around. However, we have quite the room here. As well as a way down Focus. there and a way across over there. But also just a giant bottomless chasm. Find some way around it, I suppose. We have two different options. I am. Oh, actually, we can't go down this way. This this way is blocked off by sand. So I guess there's only one way for us to go through here. Well, thankfully, there aren't any traps in like these narrow corridors, because otherwise that would be very much problematic. Uh, no enemies in the immediate vicinity, so that's good. Oh, uh, we've got a door over here, though, as well as a dead end. I have something. With some treasure. Ooh, a ruby. Always nice to get gemstones. Somewhere. Uh, well, there's this room as well. I mean, this is Somewhere. probably the most open-ended area. Ooh. Here, but let's go ahead and take care of this Ah, you are now dead! Okay. Freaking Anubises and their freaking comma ons. Are you alright? I'm fine, you're the one who died. I mean, thankfully, I am immune to just those insta death skills, so I don't exactly have anything to really deal with. Well, 
let's maybe see what happens. Explore. Plus, there's an enemy up there. Oh, it's a freaking dog? Really? Well, let's maybe get rid of you so you don't cause Show us any trouble more. later. Okay. Birds are really freaking loud right outside my window, and it's really starting to irritate me. Ow. <laughs> I was right. It's like, why can I not move forward? Oh, because it was a trap. That's why. Uh, well, I don't see any other treasures nearby, so let's go ahead and open it up. And quickly hide in the corner, or actually, no, the shadow's just gonna go that way. Well, that works for me. I'll reveal your true form. Thanks, I wasn't expecting to see a Thoth right there. Paired up with an Isis. Uh -oh. Joker, a treasure chest! Let's open it! <laughs> so, that is one thing that got deactivated. Traps surrounding this treasure chest. So what was it guarding? A uh, dust crusted gear. Not exactly the greatest, but hey, we've got Kawakami and she can do it for free. So next opportunity we get, we can go and do that. Uh, there is a way to go okay. over that way. However, if we explore up here, first of all, treasure. And second, we can head on over this way, where there is a button and a ballista. Hey. Sure. find out. We have no way to actually jump off here without just, you know, killing ourselves. But there was another route that we could take, and that was down this little passageway right here. Uh, any treasure? No treasures in the immediate vicinity. Which is a little odd. But I'm pretty sure you saw that pedestal, so you have a pretty good idea as to what well, what can happen? Well, let's go ahead and get into this fight. Well, I saw that one coming. It's not wise to fight head on. Next up. I wish I could have gotten the advantage on it, but whatever. I'm also gonna switch up them because that's a bad idea. Something else. And then Baton Pass to Mona. Okay, hopefully we can get this. Mona, you're useless. Uh, Naga's next. Uh, come on, there we go. I mean, y'all on attack will kill the Anubis. But at least it'll still deal a good amount of damage to it. Uh, let's see. It's probably better if I just stick with regular attacks. Uh, let's go for it. The best thing we can try to do is to take this thing down. Ooh, frozen. Do I have a good physical user, or have I gotten rid of all of them? No, I've got Aramitama. And that's about it. Um, well, I'll stick with Isis, and then I'll just punch him. It still counts as a technical move, which is sort of like a crit. Ah, oh, red phosphorus. Dang. This power. I mean, red phosphorus is still a rare material, but I wanted the liquid mercury. Okay. 
well, whatever. Shadow Got quite a few Announce different places forward. that we can go, especially since one of them is a gigantic freaking cavern. Through here, though, we have treasure. I can see it. And, hello. This is strange. Push the button! Push the button! We're compelled to push the button. So now we have to go and push another button that is somewhere else entirely. Um, I want to say it was down here? Yeah! Push the button. Push the button. Hey! Secret tunnel. Okay, well before we actually take that, feel it. let's maybe take a look through here. At the very least, poke our head down the corridor. Because I believe this is where we eventually need to go anyway. So, rather than waste everyone's time, again, and do that, <laughs> I'm go just going to go ahead and take the gem right now. Let's talk to Anubis, Joker. Oh. Well, I did see a pedestal earlier. Hey! And thankfully, we're not cursed! But we have Show enemies to deal with now. I'm finding it surprising how little I'm actually using Child's negotiations, play. and I'm just going with consistent all-out attacks. Any enemies? Uh, no enemies, surprisingly, in this room. Huh, that's interesting. But there's an enemy there, and if we get fast enough, aha, we still get the amp. I got a sec with liquid mercury. And Queen gets to Ooh, very nice skill. Oh, uh, well... Flash Bomb is just Vajra Blast, but better, so I see no reason to hold on to Vajra Blast. Ooh, next is Defense Master, so Queen will get in Auto Rodaku Kaja. Okay. Cool, just like me. <laughs> they were nothing. So I could probably heal up everyone. I mean, thankfully, with how much. Oh, hi there. With how much. MP I have or SP I'll reveal your healing is not a problem for me whatsoever all right well another set of enemies taken care of I can know enemies up here and we have the pedestal that we saw earlier hey well one of the pedestals that we saw earlier because there's not one way over there Sure. What immense power. Well, as long as the gemstone doesn't fall out of the pedestal, I think we'll be fine. However, now we have a new pathway opened us to us. Pathway of light. 
and we can just go over here and we have, well, a potential shortcut to get back to where we were before, but also a new path that is now opened up to us. So pressing on ahead, we have another door with a couple more enemies inside. Um, ooh, and I see a lot chest. I'm surprised that the other one didn't fight. try jumping in. Somewhere. But we have a locked chest. Oh. And inside our third locked chest of the dungeon, we get a retention vest and two gems. Let's take a look at this piece of equipment. The retention vest, not as good as the Gygus vest, but it does resist forget. Uh, better than Saint's Tunic, and better than the Plate Vest as well. Um, yeah, we can give that to Skull. Why the heck not? Uh, there are a few... Well, actually... See it. No, there aren't a few other areas for us to go. There's just the one. Oh, there's the enemy. Oh, boy. Although it is a dog, so it does have heightened senses that means that it can protect or protect us, detect us sooner than other types of enemies. I'll reveal your truth. Still doesn't help it from here. I find kind of odd is the fact that we really haven't been encountering different types of enemies. We've seen like slightly different combinations of old enemies. The cognition here oh, hey, a safe room. There is another one that wasn't in the main corridor. But yeah, there aren't actually new enemies, which is yes. odd, like to say the here. least. And, hmm. I mean, looking at my time, this would be about a good time to call it, but I've been cutting out quite a few battles, to be honest. Okay, let's go. So I'm actually not sure if I should just end things off here or if I should just keep going. Focus. I almost feel like I should. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I see what's coming up. I am going to go ahead and call it a day here. Let's take a break, shall Uh, or maybe I should just no, I think we can uh, take this on. Uh, I'm going to just go up and heal everyone and very quickly save. I'll just add that. Okay, we really haven't been going on for that long. Well, actually, we have been going on for quite some time, but I have cut out pretty much every single battle. So why don't we go ahead, do this, and then we can go and call it a day. Whoa! That's why I saved. Okay. The hell? Good job, Skull. <laughs> so, yes! Also, in the vein of just reusing the same stuff, 
we have another coffin board god, i.e. Molt, that we have to fight. The enemy is strong. And it is literally the same as the one that we have fought previously, though this time it's joined by a Naga and a Lamia. Though I'm not sure why the Naga... The opponent is strong. Don't do anything reckless. That's weird. That's very weird. That's incredibly weird. Let's go. Uh, however... Uh, I am going to start off with... Actually, I think Lilim can do this quite nicely, actually. I was wondering, it's like, wait, are the Nagas weak to wind or are they weak to electricity? Nah, they're weak to wind. So, thankfully, uh, Lilim can handle this very easily. And then we can get rid of the backup. Very simple. Well, better him than you, Mona. Uh, let's see. Well, thankfully, I've still got plenty of, well, crap left in me. And I can always just knock him down twice as often since he didn't transform Mona into a mouse again. Plus, we're also higher level, so this will help out significantly. We're all down. That was all right, uh, let's just go for y'all on attack. I was thinking afterwards, like, huh, maybe I should have changed up my persona. Ah, uh, ah, uh, crap. Ah, uh, it's a little uh, crap. Uh, well, just punch the coffin. Plus, I can still do this. And, well, I mean, I can't exactly even switch to Fox, who would be good against the Lamia. But, I can switch to a Persona that I want to gain experience, which is probably going to be Isis. Or Principality. Principality actually wouldn't be bad. Uh, yeah, Isis. Ravage now! She's almost got Gorla, so let's maybe give that to her. Let's go. And down they go. Nice and simple. Again, it's a repeat boss fight, so it's not exactly the most threatening thing in the world. But we got quite a few level ups from it. And a couple skills. Or maybe just one. Get Mandiorama! Nice. Um... Well, I mean, Mona is basically my healer, and I don't need Dia anymore. Ooh, next is Magarula, though. And Fox gets soon. Tempest Slash, which deals tiny damage for, to one foe three to five times. Um... Hmm, I guess I can get rid of Bufu for that. Next is Counter Strike, though. Ooh. Damn it. Well, hopefully we're at the end soon. Let's take a look at this area here, and we can climb up. Nothing much else over here. Just gotta climb up to all here. Grab this. Dang, I really thought it was a, another treasure demon. And we've got, well, a few places. We can jump down there and go back to where those enemies were. But we've also got these light bridges. Unfortunately, even though it would be so easy, it's just a little bit out of reach. So unfortunately, we can't jump over that way. Uh, oh. Wait, I must have missed something. I totally missed something. 
Uh, I totally missed something because there's a pedestal right here. wasn't too far away. Uh, steal the thing. Steal the thing, Joker. And then we can steal this thing from Anubis. Well, good thing it wasn't that far back. I was wondering. It's like, how the heck did I miss it? Simple. It was on the area you were just at in a boss fight. Uh oh. Show me your true form. So assuming no other enemies get in our way, we can go ahead and see what this Anubis gem does. Well, what exactly it opens up for us. And then we will go and call it a day. So let's go ahead and put it into this pedestal. ourselves even more places that we can go so we have that area up there which is where we are supposed to go we can head up over there to backtrack a little bit and we can also go back to here to backtrack again so very simple way to get across the various areas that we've been to before but when all that's said and done I think now is about as good as time as any call it a day here Besides, when am I going to do an outro on these light platforms again? I don't think I've had anything like this since Final Fantasy XII, to be honest. So, next time on Let's Play Persona 5. We continue onward, as Futaba's shadow herself plainly stated, we are not that far from the end of our exploration. All we have to do is just reach the end here, open up that door at the main corridor, and we should be pretty close to the treasure. It really won't be that much longer now, but there's still a little bit more to travel. So until next time, everyone, take care. <laughs>